I think the, the science is absolutely compelling in relation to climate change, not an environmental science, scientist, I'm a biomedical scientist, but the principles are, are very similar. So then it's a question of how do you reorient the political system in the first instance, but also the lives of communities to uh, respond to that climate challenge. It's about putting alternatives in place. It's about recognising that not everybody is, is contributing equally to the emissions. So ensuring that there's fairness in the response. I would like to see it reframed and that we as a country can look at the opportunity uh, for us, um, opportunity for you know, energy security and independence, warmer homes, um, better public transport, hopefully better uh, jobs, high quality jobs that are locally based, that we don't have to commute for you know, a couple of hours to and from work every day. Um, those are, are those are key to our response to, to climate change and I feel that the government uh, haven't adequately responded and you know, hence we're, we're missing target after target. We know uh, climate is hugely important to, to young people but I think there, is, uh, you know, there needs to be a, rec a recognition that the lifestyles that we're living are huge dependence on fossil fuels and in Ireland we have a particular dependence on fossil fuels um, but also the huge consumption that we have, the lack of quality public transport, the, the, the rat race of you know uh, um, getting up and chasing your tail for the day from one end of the week to, to, to the next. Um, like ultimately the, the solutions to, to climate change I think can be a, a benefit and will leave people living you know better quality lives, better work-life balance, better connection with, with the environment and with nature and we know the, the science is absolutely compelling. We can see it year on year, um, the, the types of records that are being achieved. Uh, we're in Ireland but this is a global crisis and we're all interconnected um, and of course we think of 2030 targets, we think of 2050 targets. I've got small kids, you know, when they're my age, those, t those, those deadlines will have passed. And of course we have to think about the, the environment and the, the, the planet that we leave to them. And, you know, please God that they will be thinking about, you know, the generations that follow after them. So time is absolutely of the essence. We need governments to act. We need a, a reorientation of, of the, the way we do politics, the way um, we prioritise uh, our environment and the decisions that, that we make. And, and I think there's, there's opportunity in that for, for communities. Sometimes the debate around climate is fractious and, uh, and toxic at times where um, you know there's a there's pitting one sector against another sector there's finger pointing there's shaming there's all that goes with that and it's, it's not helpful um, and it contributes to miss target after miss target um, so when we say to somebody why are you using your private car and you, sh you should be using the bus or train instead well in, in Ireland in so many many place, places around the around the country that option simply isn't there. So the, the logical solution, the logical thing for people to do is to, to take the private car. That's just one example of it. Like, why don't you retrofit your home? Because I can't afford to retrofit my home. You know, people would do it if it was there and achievable and affordable for them. Um, so, so it's for the state to lead. It's for the state to ensure that um, that we deliver on renewables targets, that we remove the, the barriers and hurdles and, you know, the, the question of, you know, why isn't every farm shed, why isn't every piggery, why isn't every school, uh, uh, community building in Ireland, uh, why doesn't it have solar, you know. That's a, a question that Sinn Féin have been asking for like, the guts of 10 years at this stage. And we're only now starting to see some movement and the promise of, in the future, we will have progress. It's not happening quickly enough. Um, the, the, the current government are not ambitious enough in relation to it, and they're not delivering on it.